Good morning, everyone. My name is Nicole McCracken, and I am a fourth grade teacher here at Glen Allen Elementary. And today's lesson is going to be incorporating Minecraft into our math lesson. So let's go ahead and get started. So we are going to explore fractions in Minecraft today. We have already followed all these steps, so I want you to do number five right now, which is to turn your computer around, face it towards me. Thank you, Landon. So I have eyes looking at me, active listeners. All right, so let's go over our learning intentions. We started this lesson yesterday, so our learning intentions are exactly the same. I am learning to create equivalent fractions with math models by multiplying by the great one, which is a fraction with the same numerator and denominator. So let's go over some of these vocab words. Equivalent fraction. What does equivalent fraction mean? Rowan. Equal. Remember, equivalent has the word equal in it. They are equal. They're the same. Okay, let's look at the great one. Another little example of the great one down here. What does the great one mean, Ashika? It's a whole. It's a whole. It means one. I have my example. Five over five or five fifths. Tell me another example of the great one. Hayden? Um, 10 over 10. 10 over 10. Anish? 100 over 100. 100 over 100. Mason? 1,000 over 1,000. 1, over 1,000. And one more, Will? 1 trillion over 1 trillion. 1 trillion over 1 trillion. So does it matter what my number is? No. What has to be the same, though? Was it? Numerator and Very good. And my numerator is which number in a fraction? Raise your hand tell me that. Which number in a fraction, Syed? It's your up. Up, remember, because our friend Ashika, remind us, numerator has a U in it, up. I saw you thinking about that. So our denominator is what? Jonah. Down. Down starts with a D. Denominator down is the one on the bottom. Very good. All right, so reminder, we're already in our Minecraft world. We have a lot of different agents and NPCs and levels, but what are we focusing on today? And anyone can just tell me. Equivalent fraction. Equivalent fraction. So level one. I do not want to see us going into other levels. That's our goal is to explore the different levels and do the different fractions. But today only we're focusing on equivalent fractions. Very good. So let's do some practice problems together. We already have our notebook out. No, it might be a little tight, but go ahead in our notebook. Let's do a couple of practice problems that are mine going. So my first one is two thirds times four fourths. So tell me my great one in this example, Ainsley. My great one. Remember the fraction that equals one. Four fourths. Very good. So if you remember from yesterday, whatever I do to the top, I have to do what? <coughs> to the bottom. To the bottom. Awesome. So two times four is anyone? Eight. Fantastic. Three times four is? Twelve. Good. So I now can say an equivalent fraction for two thirds is what? Eight twelfths. Eight twelfths. Very good. Okay, let's look at our second one. What do you notice about our second fraction? Madison? Um, the first one, two thirds are the same. They're the same. So can you only have one equivalent fraction? <coughs> no. no, you can have as many equivalent fractions as you want. Because if you remember yesterday, we can multiply to find equivalent fractions, but we can also do what? Divide. Divide. Very good. So let's look at this example. Two times six is? Twelve. Twelve. Three times six. Eighteen. Good, Landon, very good. Eighteen. So now, twelve eighteenths is also equivalent to which two fraction? Thirds. Two thirds. So now I have three equivalent fractions. I know two thirds is equal to eight twelfths, which is also equal to twelve eighteenths. Okay? Do we need to do another one? Or are we feeling pretty good? Feel pretty, pretty good. This is day two, so we should feel pretty good. All right. So what we're going to do in our world, 
you are going to choose one, only one for right now, of the equivalent fractions. And remember, we did one <coughs> together yesterday, so skip that one. Don't redo it. You're choosing one other. I believe there's about four or five in there. Four. four thank you, Madison. You're going to choose one other equivalent fraction. You are going to show your work in your purple math notebook. So I don't want to see everyone start building just yet. You just show your work. Use your multiplication chart if you need to. Hopefully we don't need to, but if you do, you know where it's at. Then you can build your model, okay? Remember what we did yesterday? We watched the video as a whole group. Yes. If you need to watch the video again, you're just going to go outside of the world where the NPC was, outside the little gate. Okay, remember that man, her little friend who told us all the directions yesterday? Yeah. So that's what you're going to do if you need to. What do you think you need if you're going to watch the video? Headphones. Headphones, yeah, because we don't all want to have noise going like crazy, okay? So if you need to watch the video again, you are welcome to watch the video. If you feel confident and you remember all the steps, you don't have to. You can go ahead and start building, okay? Then everyone, I think, or just about everyone had a chance to do this. If you need help, we have our Minecraft helpers with our cones on their desk who can help you out. I can also help you out. But you are going to take a picture of your fraction and upload it to your portfolio, okay? And don't forget, your caption of your picture is your equation, all right? Sound pretty good? Yes. Thumbs up if we got it. Fantastic. So if you happen to finish one through three before we stop, you are welcome to look at other fractions and build. But don't go to the next level, okay? <coughs> I feel confident some of you probably could, but let's all stay on level one for now, okay? Okay. All right, if we feel good, go ahead and turn your computers around. Watch the video if you want. But again, if you're feeling confident, go find a fraction and start building. There's a couple different ones to choose from. All right, so remember, write it down in your notebook first. I know we've got a lot on our desk with our Chromebook and our notebooks. Remember, whatever you do to the top, you have to do to the bottom. Okay. Yep. Fifteen of them will be the solid ones. Mm -hmm. Don't forget, you have solid blocks and you have those stained glass blocks. That's what's going to represent your fraction because fractions mean parts of a whole. We have five sevenths times 3 over 3, you had 5 times 3 is 15, 7 times 3 is 21, yep. Okay. So you got it, so now you can start building. Okay. Yep. So how many blocks are going up and down? Seven. Seven, so that means over here you have to have seven going up and down. How many? Two. Two. So that means you're going to have two that are clear and then five that are solid. And you're going to do that how many times? Three times. Three times. There you go. Okay. Ooh, yeah, you have a big one. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So how many total do you have going up and down? Ten. Can't remember because that's our denominator. That's going to be our total number. So how many are you going to have to have going up and down in your first one right there? Ten. Ten. But how many are solid? Seven. Seven because that's our numerator, right? So you're going to do the same thing. You're going to do seven tenths again right there. But how many times are you going to do it? Three, ten times. Ten times. So you're just creating the exact same one ten times. Okay. <laughs> yep, so, yep, I would do it, but look what you're doing right now. See, look, now you have your stained glass, but right here you have 
It has to look just like that original. You're just making more of them. Mm -hmm. Events over three, three. Yep, 15, 21, you're good. Okay, you know how to build it? Okay, remember yesterday. It's the same thing, you're making one just like that, but you have to make it how many times? Three, three times. Because remember, denominator is the total number of everything you have. Okay, so let's scooch back and let's look at your original. First one needs to look exactly like your original, but you will duplicate it however many times your great one tells you to. So if it says to do four over four, that means you're going to have four of the exact same one that your model has. Okay, you're off to a good start. Okay, let's scoop back and get a um, better look at it. All right, how many total do you have? You have 15 there. Let's count that. 15. Twenty-one. 21. Is that what your um, denominator says? Yeah. Yep, so you, you built it the right way. Yep, so now I just have to scooch back. Remember when you take your picture, you want the original and the one that you created in it. You made stairs. Look. Rowan made stairs to take her picture. Yep. Yep, and if you turn sideways and look at your models, remember they should look straight in a line. Ooh, awesome. Mm -hmm. How many zeros do I have? So that would be 70. Same thing at the bottom. What's one times one? Yep, how many zeros do I have on these? Two. Two. So 70 over 100. Very good. So double check to make sure. So 10 rows, that's good. That's because 10 times 10 is 100. You should have 70 dark blue. All right, I'm seeing a lot of great models, but don't forget to take your picture. I see Rowan taking her picture. Caitlin's got her picture. Don't forget to do that. You're welcome to create more models, but I do want a picture before you start doing that. Yep, yep, exactly that. You're welcome. Yes, Will. So 21 is going to be my total number of the diamond blocks and the stained glass all together. Because that's my denominator. That's going to be total. Okay. So if you look at your original here, I want you to try it. So grab your mouse and let's look at the original model. Right there. Our great one says to do it how many times? Mm -hmm. How many times do you have it done? Oh, two. two. So you just have to do one more just like that. <laughs> yep, as long as you took a picture of your original, you are welcome to go back. And the red up there says finish steps one through three. You can try to create more. So did you build all of your models first, Noah? Yeah. Awesome. So Noah built all the models that were available in level one. Then if you go to the NPC, the player that's standing there with the problem, if you get them to talk, they will give you the equation and give you multiple choices to figure out what is the equivalent fraction. It's pretty cool. So you can go back and check your work by going to the NPCs and looking at the multiple choice answers. All right, I want Ashika to share about hers, so if you all can just pause for one second. So a lot of us, when we're doing our models, where do we put those stained glass blocks at? On the bottom. On the bottom, and that just makes it a little bit easier. But my friend Ashika, she put hers up towards the top. Is that allowed? Yeah. How, how can she do that? If you do like the same amount of number 
as long as you do the same amount of numbers. Awesome. So Sheikha felt confident. She wanted to play around. So she still has the right fraction. She just put her stained glass at the top instead of at the bottom. Totally something you can do. Remember when we shaded in our fractions for our homework? Will even ask, can we pick whichever pieces we want to shade? And I said, sure thing, as long as it's the exact same fraction that you need. Okay? All right. So I know some of you didn't get to finish. That's fine. Most of us finished building. We just didn't get to take our picture, which is totally fine. I would rather see the build, okay? But let's do a little bit of reflection now, okay? Let's think about this. We've been doing this for two days. We started it yesterday, finished level one today. Next time we get to it, we'll be in level two. But let's think about this. What life ready skills are HLP? We talk about that every day, every subject. We're doing something with our HLP. So which one do you think, or which multiple ones, do you think that we use when we're on Minecraft? What do you think we're doing? Hayden, what do you think we did today? Okay, the okay, critical thinker and the rocket ship. I remember what the rocket ship oh, one is. Okay. Creative. Creative thinker. Very good. So can you explain that to me, Hayden, why you think we did those two? Because when like what Ashika did, she did the glass at the top and that's being creative. Very good. And then the critical thinker is because we were doing fractions and you had to think about it. Love it. Critical thinking, because we're actually thinking about our fractions. We had to figure out and then I love the example that he said with Ashika. She was being creative. Anything else or any other explanations? Caitlin? Communication. Communica how are we communicating? Because we're communicating with each other and helping each other out by doing something. Very good. Communicating with each other, helping each other out. Love it. Anything else? All right. Awesome job, my friends. Thank you so much for watching our lesson.